there was a scene in a Disney cartoon mm -hmm, with two where. Yeah, it's like someone walks in and a bunch of people are kissing and there's two two boys kissing each other. Mm -hmm. And Boosie, of course, says, see, here's the type of shit I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You also had in Disney's uh, Beauty and the Beast, there was a gay couple in there to the point where I think certain movie theaters refused to show the movie. Mm -hmm. What's your take on this? You know what my take is. It's on there, Vlad. Like, come on, man. It's just more of the beating you in the head with the bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? It's just more of a blatant agenda that's being, you know, badgered over the head of society by, you know, a special interest group. You know, did you see the uh, Coca Cola commercial that we had posted up? The, the gay Coca Cola commercial? No. It was a scene, right, where it, it was a Spanish language uh, commercial. I don't know whether it was South America or Mexico or what, but it showed like this pool boy outside and, you know, his shirt's off. I and heard all about it or something, and he's competing against his sister for the. No, and then, and then you see. This, this brother and sister look out right. the window and see him, and the brother is obviously gay, and they start trying to like run over each other and try to get, try to bring him a Coke first. And then, you know, by the time they finally get out there, the mom is there with the Coke, you know, with the pool boy. Right. Uh, but clearly a very gay commercial. Right. By one of the biggest corporations on earth. Right. So why all of this now? Why? See, it's not that they love gay people. It's not that they love gay people. This just fits into a certain agenda that they have. That's how that fucking Moonlighting shit won Best Picture. I, I never saw it. What was it about? I didn't see it either, but Moonlighting is about a young, you know, gay kid or some shit like that. Like, the, 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 the main character in the story is a black gay kid, you know? Um, growing up in the hood, I guess, and the trials and tribulations of that, you know? Now, you take out the gay shit in that movie, that little movie would have never even gotten any kind of recognition by the Academy, but because it, it contains a certain um, message that is popular right now that wants to be, you know, proliferated, that shit won Best Picture. Okay, now, you have kids. Yes. At what point do you feel it's okay for kids to be exposed to gay concepts and imagery and so forth? At what age? Definitely not at no Disney ages. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'd say by the time they're like preteens, they, you know, they might have some sort of knowledge about it or whatever, 11, 12, you know what I mean? And it's not that I want to educate you about it, but, you know, I mean, they're going to see some crazy shit and you're going to have to explain it in your way. Now, you got some people that these days they'll fall to the political pressure of, you know, trying to explain it in a way that, you know, <laughs> makes it seem like that shit is OK. Or you can tell the truth. Because a kid is going to act abnormal to it as soon as they see it. What's wrong with that man? Why is he dressed like a woman? And now you have to indoctrinate him into how society wants you to see it these days. Oh, no, he's just da-da-da-da-da. Nah. I'd be like, yeah, he's abnormal. That's something wrong. But that's what he wants to do. We're not going to bother him. But we don't, men don't dress like that. That's what I'm going to tell my kids. And that's what I'm going to tell somebody else's kids if they ask me. Well, I mean, Brand New Beat has always had a pretty clear stance on, on how they feel about gays. It's not about how we feel about gays. It's how I feel about black people. It's not about the gays. It's about when you try to use that to control my population, that's when I got a problem with it. If you want to fuck somebody in the ass, that's your business. 
but how it affects society and how it affects the minds of the, the generations that come behind us, that's what I'm worried about. I don't give a fuck what you do. That's your fucking business. But how it affects my babies and my universal family, that's what I have a problem with and how they use this as part of the agenda. This all goes hand in hand with AIDS, uh, prison population, uh, you know, the deterioration of the black family. This all goes with that. Well, you have a friend that's gay. You went to his wedding. I remember we talked about. I'm this. Sure, I have multiple friends that. I know okay, no, but but you have a, a out of the yeah, closet. I had a friend gay, that gay I grew friend. up with, that yeah. I've known since a young kid, and I went to his wedding some years back. And I, that okay. might sound to some people, oh, he went there. You know, like white people will say, oh, I have a black friend. Da 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 da. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm just telling okay. you. I went to one, and so if I'm so against homosexuals, why would I put myself in that position? I just would have okay, not so, went. His own so, mother didn't go. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. That's kind of that's okay. crazy. His own mother wouldn't His go. own mother didn't go, but I was there. What was the reason for his mother not going? Because she don't fuck with that. She's a Jehovah Witness. She don't fuck with that. Okay. What about his father? I don't think, you know, he got a relationship. I don't, I don't you know. But. Okay. Does he have kids? No. Not that I know of, unless they have adopted some that I don't know about since then, but no. What I wonder is, and I think this is really like the telltale sign about people's true feelings, because people will always say it was politically correct, what everyone else is saying, they don't want to be the odd man out. How do gay couples feel about their children being gay? Do they... If they, they have to say that they feel good about it or else it destroys their whole shit. Right. You have to say, I hope my kids turn out gay rather than straight if you feel strongly about being gay. Absolutely. And first of all, that's the only way that gay people can procreate, basically. They, that's the only way they can create more gay people is by indoctrinating people into being gay. Because they can't create life on their own. So what I'm saying is they can't, they can't create their own next generation. They need heterosexual people, <laughs> okay, to fucking have babies. The shit that they, that's disgusting to them. They need heterosexual people to have the babies to now indoctrinate them so there could be more gay people. Or they have to artificially do it and, you know, go to test tubes and shit like that and... You know, right? They, they could take their sperm and try have to a grow do, a, baby, a donor basically. egg, yeah. and then have a, a surrogate carry the baby, and then it'll be one of their, you know, one of their DNAs will be in that baby. Right, but it's crazy. It's like you're trying to circumvent nature. Like you know better than nature. See, we all have the right to choose whatever we like in this world, right? But then nature is going to tell you whether that's cool or not. So for instance, let's just take it off the gay shit for a second. A brother and sister, right? They can choose to fall in love and have sex. Right. They could say, oh, I grew up, I always loved my fucking sister. Ever since I laid eyes on her and she felt the same way about me. They go and have fucking kids. What does nature have to say about that? The kids are going to end up retarded. Them kids are going to end up retarded, maybe deformed, all kinds of crazy shit. Now, no matter how you feel about your sister or you feel you were born to love her, nature says otherwise. So now, you can feel like you love another man. You can feel as a woman you love another woman. But nature says, cool, if you do that, you can't have no kids. Period. You're not allowed to regenerate yourself now. That's, I, nature said that. I didn't say that. Nature's, I mean, nature you made could that. A, you could actually take it, you know, like uh, recently uh, I went... Uh, I went to Santa Barbara and we went to a couple farms 
And I was introduced to something I didn't know existed, which was a debra. What, you know a that deer is? and a zebra? It's a zebra and a donkey. Oh. Make it half donkey, half zebra. It actually exists. I have pictures of it. It right, kind of looks like a similar big ass horse donkey. family. I mean, yeah, it's part of the horse family. I right. never thought about it before because you know, because a mule is a is a donkey and a horse, right? Right. And, it's, so, so and they can't have, reproduce though. They can't reproduce exactly. So a debra is is in the same boat. It can't reproduce. Now, you can create a bunch of debras and you have these cool looking. Right, but once you have stripes. them, if they die out, that's it because nature said that's abnormal that's unnatural we don't like that we'll allow it to happen but we're gonna cut it off here at this generation unless y'all keep making debras and going against what we're what nature's telling you is not cool but as soon as you stop that debra shit's gonna stop you see right same unless, shit unless you keep fucking zebras all the time and you're a donkey and you know but those, those, they create offspring which are infertile, basically. Exactly. Now, there's no such thing in with primates that I know of. Like, you can't fuck a, mon a monkey and make a sterile half monkey. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. what will happen? Because you can't, you can't get a monkey pregnant. Certain things won't crossbreed. Again, nature. And as much as you might want to fuck monkeys and feel like you were born to fuck a monkey... Nature says, okay, fuck all the monkeys you want, but y'all is not going to have a fucking man monkey baby. Whether you, no matter how much you like that shit. Okay, but can't you say, you know, as devil's advocate here, can't you say, well, why would you take medicine when you're sick? Because if nature wants you to die, you should just die. You shouldn't take antibiotics and not you shouldn't about... have surgery and stuff like that. No, 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 no. Now, now that's, that's different. You know what I mean? Now you, you're getting into a different realm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, because there are certain religions. See, medicine feel, was put here like who, by nature. <laughs> you see? Right. Medicine no, no, was on, put on, here on. for those things. Well, that's I mean, why medicine is here. Well, medicine is man made. So the, the, no, 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 no. The medicine, medicine you take is man made. Drugs. There's plenty of natural medicines out there, okay, that right. are made by nature. That if you take right. them, you will be healed. And there is no difference between medicine and poison. Medicine and poison is only different by the dose you give. Any medicine okay. could be a poison, and, and a lot of poisons could be a medicine. Right. Right. I'm, it's I'm not just the saying, same thing. <laughs> there, there are certain religions. Uh, I forgot. Is it, is it Jehovah's Witnesses who don't believe in... Uh... Yeah, blood transfusions. Yes. The blood transfusions? Yeah, they don't okay. believe in blood transfusions. Okay. So if you and are dying, you don't take no blood transfusion as a Jehovah's Witness. Okay, so for example, I know a girl who gave birth and she lost so much blood during the birth that she needed a blood transfusion. If the blood transfusion was not given, she would have died in childbirth. Right, and so a Jehovah's Witness, a true one that says they really down for that, They'd expect you to die in that situation. Right. Like willingly for Jehovah. And it'll be okay because you'll be, you know, one of the 144,000 and you'll get resurrected and all this type of shit when, when the kingdom comes. Right. And then you have two kids that doesn't have a mother. Or right. you know, however many kids you had. Right. <laughs> you know, and all that was game because you're not getting uh, <laughs> physically resurrected and all that type of shit. And right. Not in that way. All I'm saying is, is there, depending on how you look at it and depending on your belief system, you could look at nature different types of ways. I mean, you can look at it a different type of way, but at the same time, nature's going to say, listen, there's only way to, one way to look at certain things. You can try to justify things in your mind. You can try to flip it and bounce it and twist it around. Nature said... Brother and sister, people in the same family shouldn't be fucking each other. Period. Right. Man and man don't make babies. Period. Woman and woman don't make babies. There's no other way to look at that. Right. Until you try to justify your bullshit of what you want to do personally. But there is no other way to look at that. Right. Because back in the day, blacks and whites couldn't get married in America. 
you would get put in jail. Like that, that Loving case, you know, the one they did the movie on was the first case that was actually brought to the Supreme Court. Before right. then, it was illegal. But blacks and whites can make babies. Right, that's a man-made thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Blacks and whites can make babies. So nature didn't say that that can't happen. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But also nature tells you that the black is going to dominate that white. Okay? Two black people can make a white baby. Two white people can't make a black baby. Wait, two black people can make a white baby? Yes. Well, we can two mixed people, black people. Two mixed, two mixed black people can Listen, make a white uh, baby. Listen, two dark-skinned people can make an albino baby. Okay? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're two, right. two white two... people cannot make the equivalent of that in black.